What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your drop guy, Daryl, and I'm back at you guys with another banger. So, as we all know, the NBA MVP race has been very close, especially right now. We have three prime candidates when it comes to the MVP. Those three candidates are Giannis Antetokounmpo, Joel Embiid, and Nikola Jokic. And with that being said, it seems like Giannis Antetokounmpo has voiced his frustrations when it comes to the MVP voting. Now, as we all know, when it comes to NBA MVP voting, there are a lot of different categories and criteria that the voters tend to choose their MVP for. It can be how much of an impact a player has made on a certain team for that specific year. Let's say that that team was fucking 0 and 81 last year. And this year they are 79 and 2. That could be the reason why that player would be the MVP if he's that best player on that team. It can also be different things such as individual stats. If that player is having a great season specifically for him, he's scoring 50 points, 20 rebounds, you know, 10 assists, he can be MVP for that reason. Another reason that a player can be MVP is if they do something historic, such as if they average a triple-double, as we know with Russell Westbrook. And with that being said, it looks like Giannis Antetokounmpo has voiced his frustration when it comes to the clarity and the NBA MVP award. So with that being said, we will switch over, and I will just voice my thoughts on which criteria or which category I feel like is the most important when it comes to the NBA MVP award. And I want you guys to get down in the comments down below and tell me what criteria or what category you feel like is the most important when voicing your MVP. But before we switch over, I do got a shout out to some new subscribers and hey, let's get it. So first and foremost, shout out to my boy, Demetrius Lasarich. Welcome to the Drip God Gang. And second, shout out to my boy, Sir Moore Kemp. Welcome to the Drip God Gang. Man, welcome to the family, and I am happy that you guys are part of the Drip God Gang. But without further ado, let's switch over and let's get into this article. All right, so we all switched over, and this is an article from the Panola Watchman. Now, let's read into this. The title is Giannis Santosacumpo Voices Frustrations About MVP Voting. So let's read into it. Let's read into it. The Bucks star has some questions about the process used to award the league's highest honor. As the 2022-2023 NBA regular season starts to wind down, debate about the league's MVP award has only grown more contentious. Three clear candidates, Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, have emerged as the favorites to win the prestigious award, but it's anyone's guess as to which player will host the trophy at year's end in part because it remains unclear exactly what criteria is used by voters when they cast their ballots. So, let's read into it, man. Let's read into what Giannis, well, let's read into what Giannis had to say. Antetokounmpo, already a two-time MVP in his own right, finds himself particularly frustrated with the lack of clarity when it comes to the definition of the award. In a recent interview with The Athletic, the Bucks star questioned what exactly it means to be the MVP while admitting that he tries to focus on his own game and not on things that he can't control. Let's read what Giannis had to say. Like I believe and I know that people are dominating. So what is the MVP? Is it the guy who scores the most points? Is it the guy who is the most efficient? Is it the guy who is the most dominant? Is it the guy who is the most valuable? Antetokounmpo says, sometimes the best player isn't the most valuable player on the team. Like I feel like Brooke Lopez 
is such a valuable player for our team. Like, the MVP criteria, just fucking sorry for my language. It just changes. As I said again, I can't control that. I can control only what I prepare for the game and try to be ready for the game. So, with that being said, what do you feel like is the most important thing when it comes to the MVP criteria? Is it how dominant a player is? Is it how efficient a player is? Is it how many points a player scores? You guys tell me, is it how impactful that player is to his team? Like I said, you guys tell me in the comments down below. And I will be looking forward to those comments. But, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video. Comment on the video. Subscribe to the motherfucking channel. Turn on notifications and all that good stuff. And I'm out. Peace.